Hey, everyone, how are you doing? Decided to start a little bit earlier today. Finish a little bit earlier. Well, at least that's my plan. How it will go. But, but tonight, we, the plan is the following revisit course episode of chess Killer tips podcast uh, it was quite challenging to find uh, positions with a similar uh, idea that's uh, going to be discussed uh, in the episode really uh, the game that is discussed in the fourth episode it's a game from it's my game world uh, youth chess championship playing under 10 years old long long time 1994 and i missed a very nice winning opportunity this game so we're going to going to have a look and listen first then we'll discuss in more details so uh, i still found some nice games and nice positions to share with you so let's first uh, start by listening by listening the um chess killer tips uh, podcast episode number four and then i'll get back to you this uh, discussion of this episode Welcome to Chess Killer Tips, brought to you by ChessQueen.com. Here's your host, Alexandra Kostinyuk. Today's position is from my game against Chernichenko of the World Youth Championship Girls Under 10, 1994. It's white to move. Try to find the best continuation for white. Unfortunately, during the game, I missed it and finally lost the game and took only the second place in this championship. You can press pause now and think about this position for a while. I'll be back after the music. In this position I should have played Queen G8 check and after king h6, a nice queen sacrifice was possible. Queen h8 check. Bishop takes h8. f8 queen check. Bishop g7. Queen f4 check. And here black has two possibilities. After king h7, he loses a queen after knight g5 check. And then white takes on f2. After g5, instead of King h7, mate is unavoidable. For example, queen d6 check, king h7, bishop d3 check, king g8, queen e6 check, king f8, queen c8 check, king e7, queen c7 check, king f6, queen d6 check, king f7, bishop g6 check, king g8, queen e6 check, king h8, queen e8 check, bishop f8, queen takes f8. Checkmate. So you see, it's important to consider all moves, even unexpected ones. They can be winners. This position is taken from my new book, Play Like Kostinyuk. It's on sale now on chessqueen.com for the special price of $5.99. There are over 100 examples from my games. If you buy it and mention this podcast, I'll gladly autograph it for free. Till next time. Well, <laughs> the episode is over. I think this book is not on sale anymore. <laughs> Tell you the truth. But uh, it's a very nice position. Uh, unfortunately, I missed this um, 
line in the game and i remember actually i remember pretty well um, this day because we didn't have any uh, computers at that time and when we got back um, uh, home um, we analyzed it with my dad we analyzed and finally we found uh, this winning idea by ourselves that was something uh, a little bit different than um, today's games and Sergey, thank you so much again for your donation for your support in uh, support number one of my dreams uh, in this year very um, grateful for your help and for your support so let's get to the board where we can oops where we can analyze this uh, position look at it here we go here we go yes the position is very tense very complicated black is very close to white king next checkmate one is threatening but at the same time my pawn far advanced it's my turn to move and unfortunately unfortunately it was a time trouble it's move number 37 in the game unfortunately i didn't see the winning line i played f8 queen but it's losing queen takes f1 then knight g2 and suddenly it's my king getting checkmate that's how the game ended i lost it and when i went back hotel room figured out the way it was supposed to go queen g8 check very nice uh, deflection idea but the bishop as we say in russian saying is sitting on two chairs it protects the square shade which is very important and at the same time it protects the square of eight fortunately for the bishop it do both tasks simultaneously uh, i i saw your question about my rating at that time actually i didn't have any rating uh, at all um my first rating that I got 1996 at that time actually we had uh, ratings calculated only once a year then it was changed six months so twice a year and only then later on it's uh, in, it's uh, changed to once uh, every month so <laughs> we were starting I mean when I was starting to play in Right to get a uh, either rating, low rating calculated only here, and no, in order to get it, a uh, player needs to play a certain number of games, rated games, show tournaments. Holland Spiegel, thank you so much uh, for your subscriptions and giving uh, out the subscriptions. I, I, I'm sure that my um. My viewers appreciate it very much as well as much as i do so uh, my first rating my first lo rating was um that i received was 2296 like this added 12. it was quite a good rating as far as I can remember, for a twelve-year-old girl, but it further up since I completed all the norms, Grandmaster, and had this title awarded to me when I was four. So Queen H A check back to the game is winning here because um, the bishop needs to take the queen yes. checkmate and the second one the second queen being promoted and then after bishop g7 queen check uh in case of king h7 
comes a discovered uh, check with discovered attack. I mean, a check with a discovered attack. Knight to five, and the queen is lost. If black tries to save the game by playing g5, unfortunately, unfortunately, it, it doesn't feel this way. I mean, if you look at this position, you cannot really say that there is a forced checkmate to the black king. In fact, uh, there is, and it's very nice to see how all my pieces play and coordinate together. There are different ways, I think, to give a checkmate. There are many checkmates that we can find in this position. Very nice trio working together. Yeah, something like this. So yes, queen g8 check was winning, and that how I should have played. Should have how I should have played in this game. Unfortunately, I didn't find this uh, combination and lost the game. Uh, let's see. Other examples, uh, probably not of the similar, I mean, not of the same idea, but something very close to it. In this game, I like this game that I found. Also, we have the bishop on g7, the pawn on f7, the king on h6, and the bishop is also protecting these two squares. And after f8, queen, suddenly, like realized in this game, that if, if they take with the bishop, queen h8 checkmate is coming. And so it's not possible to take with the bishop, but since two queens are on the board now, black took with, um, with the queen, but then after queen e3, intermediate check, the queen goes away from being attacked with a check, and and um, white one. Maybe not exactly the same combination, but something quite similar. Um, especially we have this fast pawn, far advanced pawn on f7, and the poor bishop that is trying to protect both the king and um, the square on f8. And also, I've chosen final position. I've chosen two, two very nice studies. You know that uh, I like uh, chess studies very much. Although these ones are kind of uh, difficult, but I thought that we'll go uh, through the solution together and try to enjoy the beauty that these studies hold. So it's white to move, white to play and win this game, despite the fact that the pawn is one step away from being a queen, and uh, black has a material advantage. But what's important in chess, and even in the end games, it's important as well, it can be important, is the position of the king. And here, Suddenly, again, it doesn't really feel like uh, the black uh, king is misplaced, but in fact, it's it's this king is in um, in the mating net, and after a knight c7 check, rook takes c7, he takes c7, we get following position, which is surprisingly one for white. Difficult to believe, I know, since it's black to move, black can promote the, the pawn queen, and it's black to move again, and it seems it should be enough to stop the pawn on uh, c7, but not, it's not enough, because if black plays queen to b7, c8 queen will follow, and actually, black has only move. Take on c8, but then suddenly, after bishop takes c8, this pawn endgame is winning for white. Yes. Too many extra 
Tempe. Black doesn't have enough time to get to the A4 pawn and also not enough time to get to the, to stop the G pawn. Several. When actually here it's not even scary to lose their position or because black has this extra extra move that just kills any any hope for for a miracle save of this game. So this uh, pawn end game is lost. Therefore, queen to b7 is losing the game, but it's impossible to save it. Because if bishop goes to b7, here I suppose if we promote the pawn, yes, here we promote the pawn again, black in case of uh, bishop takes a8 we get to the same position with a little bit different move order. But uh, the queen to e6 is threatening, checkmating threats, black needs to protect the square. And um, when they protect it, white plays queen to e6, and again, suddenly black, black is in Tsukzwang, meaning that any move they make will worsen the, the bishop obliged to away from this diagonal, a6, a8 diagonal, and when the bishop goes away, white bishop get to c8, and as we know already, this opponent is... So, yes, so it doesn't work, it doesn't work for black. Um, there is a trick, however, there is a trick that black can try, and Right? They can under promote this. They can under promote it to a rook, b1 rook check. And the idea is that after king h2, rook to b7, suddenly, suddenly, c8 queen gets a stalemate. Stalemate. Wrong. So white needs to be careful. I'm not sure whether uh, bishop c8 is winning or not here. Um, can check. But it's not the best. Uh, probably it's winning anyway. But it's also possible to win with c8 rook. And that's the author solution, Troitsky, main solution to this position. Rook c6, rook a8 takes a8, both threatening, and it's a winning endgame. I think it's a very nice study. And here comes another one, which I chosen for you today. Not exactly, I mean, same concept, but we'll have the pawn on f7, we'll have the bishop on f7, and the pawn, we know that. Uh, closer it to the uh, rank, the promotion rank, more dangerous it is. So here it's white to move. Again, white is down in exchange, but because of this pawn, very strong pawn, an unfortunate position of black king, white manages to win the game, win it very beautiful, in style, study like. Study like style, but nevertheless, I think we'll all enjoy going through this puzzle, uh, through the study, and again, like this chess study so much that um, if I have a chance, I try to enjoy. So any ideas, why to move, how would you play if you were white? Knight to e6. The idea behind knight to e6. To give away the piece, we should at least understand what will, what, uh, what is the reason. 
I'm not sure about rook takes e6. I think it also works pretty well here. Actually, today I was giving a lesson to the only lesson I'm giving to my students. Uh, I'm not giving a lot, but uh, I enjoy uh, the company of the small, small guys. And I was explaining to them, even though when we're solving so many puzzles and we sacrifice almost in every single one of them, actually during a normal game of chess, we rarely sacrifice material. Okay, we sometimes we want to sacrifice and it's always nice to win with sacrifices, but usually chess is a simple game. We don't give away pieces for free on every single move, right? Okay, in this particular case, of course, study is not a practical game. It's not just a game of chess. It's, uh, it's a specially created position that um, we expect to look for some beautiful moves. But first of all, before going to very difficult sacrifices, we need to check normal normal moves normal checks so a g takes f7 uh, i think is too slow here although yes definitely it's a good move by the way i'm not sure if it's um might be i mean we get we get to this position here it's a checkmate or almost checkmate Bishop e5 be the only move, and bishop to g7, and then actually white is doing well. You're playing a game, g takes f7, definitely. Um, definitely the move, the move to consider, but again, I'm not sure the study has the only uh, winning continuation, but the main line goes starting with knight to h7 check. And then g takes f7, because here if bishop goes to e5, it doesn't help. We'll go to h4, and uh, g5, after bishop g7, g5, the checkmate, and otherwise it's very difficult to stop the f7 pawn. Bishop f6, white can just take, using the fact that after rook takes f6, g5 is a 4. Winning the rook and the game. So black is trying to save the game by playing bishop g7, but it's not helping. Actually, probably king h4 is also possible. But this author suggested the move d5, then bishop a4, and the idea after rook takes c5, play f8 queen. And suddenly, after bishop takes f8, bishop e8, that's the main idea of this uh, study, checkmate the king. Although here, one, one still needs some technique to win this game. But the main line goes like, rook takes g5, takes g5, bishop takes f8. And after knight e6, there is no way to save this bishop. Because after bishop h6, bishop e8 is checkmate. Yes, and very difficult. Probably not necessary. Not, not necessary lines. Maybe, maybe. There might be a, a second solution. And thus this study is not really like 100% correct but we can enjoy enjoy those check making nets anyway and um well yes that's uh, that's it for episode four again a very uh beautiful combination that i missed when i was 10 years old unfortunately i didn't uh, find here the correct solution to win the game and I lost it. That happens. If you don't score a goal, you get one.
На плакате, на превьюшке, да, это я. Давно, правда, это было, но это я. So for those of you who watched this uh, stream from the very beginning, it uh, would be easy to solve it already. Well, you know it, you know the idea. But for those of you who joined, uh, joined us recently, it uh, can be a good warm-up puzzle. White plays and wins. And it's a study like. It's a study like uh, actually puzzle, I mean position, because there is only one move that wins, everything else loses. And unfortunately for me, in the game, I didn't find the correct continuation. I played f8 queen, I promoted my pawn, but even two queens cannot save if the uh, king is weak. And here is the case. I got checkmated. And we have half Alan Spiegel uh, keeping, keeping, keep giving away a uh, subscription. Thank you so much. And yes, yes, make sure to join uh, my club on chess.com. Chess.com. Because, because this Sunday, this Sunday I'm going to organize an arena there, 11k, 11,000 followers celebration arena, and uh, I hope to see you all there. Yes, the winning continuation is I should make I should make those uh, this um, command Dirty arena arena command. I will think about it. 11k arena. Okay, yes, White is winning. By destruct, deflecting the bishop, tracting it, and promoting the second queen with a check. Very important because white cannot just play silent moves. It should be with checks. Otherwise, queen takes a pawn, will get white king trouble. And here, everything comes with a check, and it's enough to win. So that's it. That's it for uh, revisiting episode number four. Let me try. What do you think? Will I be will I be lucky enough to solve a few puzzle rushes tonight uh, with no extra kings on the board? Will it be possible? What do you think? Let let us um, and. Uh, I hope to see you all tomorrow. Take care, play chess as usual. Yes, see you soon. Bye bye. Thank you. Thank you, Dirk J, Chess Nook, for your help. You really helped me a lot in moderating this uh, channel. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. Bye. See you.